Hello all, this is Tech Matter with a How to Cross Flash your Dell Perk H310 to an LSI 9211-8i. Uh, I've provided a download link with the new zip file and all the necessary firmware files and flashing utilities in the comments section. Uh, it's also provided on my blog post referencing this video. Uh, I already have the USB um, plugged in and booted up to the C drive. Perk H310, it's already installed. I'm going to go ahead and reboot so that you can see uh, what it looks like during the first boot uh, when you go through the BIOS loading screen. Okay, and here we see the BIOS loading screen for the H310. And this takes a while to initialize and go through its initial setup. You're going to want to enter your BIOS or just go to your BIOS boot menu and select the USB key that you're using to boot up into your DOS prompt. Okay, now that we're back at our DOS prompt here, we can go ahead and the first thing we're going to want to do is identify the card that we're using. We can do that with a mega rec ADP list. and that is going to give you a number to identify your card and you can see there says MR card 0 now it's always going to be 0 if you only have one card installed so not necessary if you don't have more than one card as you can see here I have two cards installed so the second card identifies as MR card 1 So the next command that we're going to do is going to save our SAS address. And we can use mega CLI dash ADP all info. And then A0 is the identifier to tell the command that we want to get the SAS address for card number 0. Now, this will dump out a ton of information, and it'll be pretty hard to find your SAS address in there. So what you can do is you can do a pipe find SAS address in quotes. And there's our SAS address. Uh, you're going to want to write that down. And you can also output this to a text file. And that way it'll save it on your USB key. Now if that command just sits there and hangs and never returns anything, try and reboot and redo it. Now the next thing we're going to do is write an empty SBR file to this card. Mega rec dash write SBR space zero for card number zero. SBR empty dot bin. That's our empty SBR file. Okay, once that's complete, we're going to wipe the card with megarec dash clean flash zero. Now if you're using an older legacy BIOS um, motherboard, 
you can flash the firmware with the DOS version of SAS to flash. Um, this is a newer motherboard that uses a UA UEFI BIOS and it's going to generate an error when we try to use this utility in here. So what we would want to do at this point is flash the Dell 6 gigabit per second SAS HBA firmware onto the card and that'll rewrite the NV data so that we can later overwrite it with the LSI BIOS or firmware. So as you can see here, this is the error that I was talking about, fail to initialize PAL exiting program. Now in order to get around this, we're going to have to reboot, uh, go back into our USB key or into the BIOS and select the EFI boot partition. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot now and show you the part. Okay, now we're back in our BIOS, our boot menu, you can see this UEFI Patriot memory. And this will boot into our EFI partition. Okay, now that we're in our EFI shell, If we do a FS zero colon, that'll change our root directory to the USB drive. If you have multiple drives connected, uh, it could be FS1, FS2, however many you have connected. <coughs> and if you do an LS, that'll list all the contents of the drive. You can do an LS switch B, and that'll stop once the window fills up, and you can hit enter to continue. So the first thing we're going to want to do is a sas to flash dot efi switch o switch f 6 gbp sas dot fw and this is going to flash the Dell 6 gigabit per second sas hba firmware onto our wiped card. Okay, and once that's complete, you can reboot and come back into this same prompt. And instead of rebooting, I'm just going to run a reset command. So I'd recommend rebooting, it's probably cleaner and safer. <coughs> but whichever you decide to do, uh, the next step is to run the SAS to flash again. We're going to choose the 2118p7.bin.
NV data product ID and vendor ID do not match. Would you like the flash anyway? Just hit the letter Y and it'll continue on its own. Okay, now the same thing again. We can either reboot or issue the reset command. And now we can use the P19 SAS to flash utility to upgrade to the latest firmware, which that's going to be the 2118IT.bin. And there we go. We should have a fully functional LSI 9211-8i. You can validate the settings. Um, let me do a reset real quick. And then just do a list. So you can see the NV data product ID is SAS 9211-8i. The board name still says 6 gigabit per second SAS HBA. That doesn't really matter. If you go back and um, flash the P7 firmware again and then flash this latest one again, sometimes it'll update that board name. Or sometimes if you just go back and do a clean flash, and then go through this process again, it'll also update that board name to be SAS 9211-8i. Really doesn't matter what that board name is though. Uh, the important part is the firmware product ID shows IT in parentheses there. Um, so the last thing, uh, y you can continue on uh, without flashing the SAS address. So I mean, if you forgot to write it down, it doesn't really matter. It, it'll function just fine with that temporary one that it uses um, but to flash that SAS address back on there we'll use the P19 do a switch O switch SAS add and then type in the SAS address all letters and numbers no dashes or anything And there it is. We're all done.